Good morning. I decided to dig up one of the potato plants that was going downhill. At first I wasn't getting anything and then this. Pulled the plant out that was pretty much dead and it had these little guys on the roots and I was kind of excited about just these little guys. And then I reached down into the hole and this was down there. I grew a potato, you guys. Look at it. It's an actual potato. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, pulled up another one. It was looking dead. Look at that. Another potato. So this one was sick too, or dying, I'm not sure. So I'm only pulling the ones that look like this. These guys still look like they're, they have life in them. So just go with the ones that look dead. Let's see if we get any more. So far it's only been one on each of the plants I've pulled up. And maybe some little tiny ones. So this last one I dug up had two but they were both rotted. Got squishy and gross. So, yuck. So I've started cleaning out my shed in an attempt to give my boyfriend more room. He's got his hobby cars out here now, his RCs. Um, he's repairing, rebuilding, and things like that. So we're sharing this shed. So I'm trying to clean and reorganize again. Um, and I just found my seed potato bag and these are Yukon Gold. That's that's what I just dug out of the earth, y'all. Some Yukon gold potatoes. Okay, before I forget to show you what I'm doing, because sometimes I forget that I've started a video and I'm supposed to be telling you guys about it. While I'm cleaning up, breaking down some boxes, getting them wet, I'm gonna put some hay over it. Now, I know I've been talking about how I was concerned that this hay was killing my potatoes. I'm now pretty convinced it's not the hay, and I keep saying hay, this is not hay, this is straw. I'm now pretty convinced that the straw actually had no effect. Rather, it was pests, maybe a little too much moisture in certain areas, I'm not sure. But the rest of the plants seem to be fine. My sunflowers, my test squash, and test tomato are all doing fine with the straw there. So I'm going to layer the straw over this cardboard. So I've already wet the cardboard down a little bit. I'm going to layer the, the straw over it, and then I'm going to wet that down and let that start breaking down the stuff around here and hopefully suffocating out some of these weeds and vines. And eventually I'd like to put some flowers up here. I've also decided to clean out this area around this pole. Try to pull out most of these weeds, cut back the vines. And I'm going to cover this with straw as well. I don't have any more cardboard. Actually, I might be able to get some. Um, but this is another area I'd like to plant flowers. Okay. So I got the cardboard down, wet that. Same thing over here. I think it looks a lot better. Here's a different view. Just looks a lot cleaner, don't you think? I've got to go in the house and change my shoes because my leather is soaked and the only reason my feet are soaked is because of that little hole and I've got holes under here. This foot's fine. I gotta go change my shoes and socks. Don't laugh, but I attempted to make my first on the walkway. I just wet it to get all the dirt off. Mm, it's definitely not level, but I'm thinking about putting the woolly thyme in between here and maybe I'll get some more ground covers, sweet alyssum, things like that, and letting them grow in between the, um, the stones. What do you think? Be honest now. It is my first time. That was a lot of hard work. I don't remember if I showed you guys this dress thing earlier. It was actually in our, our trash pile. And I decided to pull it out and rescue it and just give it a second life. Listen, it's press board, particle board, whatever most of it is anyway. It's already starting to turn soft and disintegrate. However, it does have some solid wood in there and I would like to keep it out here in the garden area to put the plants on until it can't be used anymore. So I just cleared out this spot here to put it on and we'll see how it looks. I really need to pressure wash these. I think this winter I'm going to pressure wash this shed. 
That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Definitely a workout, but not as hard as I thought. I'm not good at designing. I kind of have it in my mind what I want it to look like, but it's it's not this. Um, give me some time. I'll get it worked out. I don't think it's ready to be planted in ground yet, <laughs> but I can decorate it, right? What do you guys think? I think it looks nice. I love the contrast of this gray color next to this black color. Very pretty. I like it. Oh, and I put my woolly thyme in the ground right here. And we'll see how it does. Hopefully it spreads and does well. And as I was building this, this garden actually got extended by just a few inches, so I have to fill in with some dirt or plant something there, but, um, and that's because this tree formed in this bed and it was pushing this block over, so I moved it out and then aligned everybody else with it. But, oh my gosh, look at that! I got a tomato! Hello! Nice to meet you! I was just about to say, these guys are finally growing. And I look over and there's a tomato. That's awesome. My first harvest. Look at that. Well guys, I have let the chickens out of the coop. For their first free rain forage. And it's very stressful. The neighbor cleared her fence line shortly after we moved the chickens over here. But just, just the portion of the fence line near my coop. So now my chickens can easily slip in and out of her yard and into her chicken coop. Where are you going? The white one just flew over the fence. Oop. What is happening? They're going insane. Wait, I thought for sure they'd come out to the field, you know, to any of the two acres that we have. Nah. They want to wander behind the coop and around the coop where there's no fencing to the other people's yards. I don't think this was a good idea. She's enjoying a dust bath. Oh yes, you, little turd. Oh, hi, hi. I don't know you guys, but I'm starting to think, I think I've said something before, but I'll say it again. I'm starting to think I have four hens and four roosters. I think. Hen, hen, rooster, hen, maybe rooster, not sure, maybe rooster, I'm thinking this one is definitely going to be a rooster, which is not great because he's the least friendly, and then this one is questionable. Are you enjoying yourself? Hmm? Are you enjoying yourself? I just noticed this. I think it's a wild cherry. But I don't know for sure. I know we have them here. And they're supposed to be pretty bitter. I tasted it. It was sweet at first and then not so sweet. <laughs> I didn't swallow. I just tasted. Finally away from the fence line. one found a frog. <laughs> you guys ready for bed yet? No. Hello, Belvedere.
Uh oh. BT is coming. Let's see how this goes. It is not food for you. No, sir, Mr. Kitty. It's not food for the BTs. You get food, you don't need them. He's got a wild look in his eyes. <laughs> What? Em's gonna be a good kitty. You can be a watcher of the chickens. You can watch over them if you want. I can give you that job. They're almost as big as you anyway. BT's a good kitty. He's scared of his own shadow, so hopefully he'll be okay. But we'll still keep an eye on him. I just can't see myself letting the chickens out and just you know, going on about my business. I feel like I have to sit here and supervise. Look at his face. What you thinking, Fizzle? What is that? Got some strawberries in my pocket and I'm hoping that that will be enticing, enticing enough to get them back into the coop if they don't decide to put themselves up. All right, everybody's back in. All it took was a strawberry, except this guy. This guy can't stand to be near me, so when I was by the door, he wouldn't come in. But if I let go of the door, it closes. If I open it, trying to keep these guys in while getting him in was not fun. But they all got some mealworms as treats for coming back in. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Two long videos and then a short one. I think it balances things out. Thanks for hanging out with me today and yesterday and all the days before. I'll see you next time.